Hi everyone, Sophie Watson back with your cards of the week, helping corporate and entrepreneurial men and women to get back in control of stress and anxiety and create a life that they love. So guys, how are we all doing this week? So this week the cards, um, again, do you know what, I can I could never make this up because these cards have just fallen out, fallen out like in the most perfect way and they really do lead into each other this week. So I'm going to start off with the first card, which is the Dragon's Lair. Now the Dragon's Lair came out in reverse position. I'm going to read to you out of the book what it actually means. This is really, really important card to start with. So it said, red, red flags shouldn't be ignored. Don't be seduced to learning a lesson that will hurt your heart. Temptation and intrigue abound, but be careful because you can't win this particular challenge. Heed this gentle warning about wanting and longing and, fantasize and the fantasy of belonging to someone, something or an identity that has no true substance or longevity. Ignore this alarm and you'll wander in circles near the edge of the dragon's lair. Choose another path for your treasures lie elsewhere. Okay, so what are you continually doing? Is there a lesson that you keep needing to learn? Do the same things keep coming up and up time and time again? And the next card that we've got is the Sacred Pool. Now, again, this card was in reverse position. And this is all about what do you keep doing over and over again? It's if you do the same thing that you did last time, you're gonna get the same results again. So it's stop being in denial. Things have got to change. You can't continue in the same vein that you, you have been, okay? So let go of whatever it is that you are wanting or trying to chase after and not getting the results that you want because it's not meant to be. Let go. Um, this is going to be uncomfortable. This is all about you self-sabotaging every single time. So it may be um, like the card was saying, like the book was saying, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's something that you're chasing after. Um, it's not right for you. So let go. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's, it is going to be a challenge for you. But believe me, when you can start letting go of that, things are really going to start changing for the better. OK, um, it's about you taking that leap of faith into that next direction, to that new direction, finding your true self. And the next card is compass. OK, this is all about you finding the right path for you. This is all about you going with your gut instincts, trusting your gut gut instincts um, and if you believe in spirit like I do it's like trusting that they are guiding you in the right way because there's amazing things that can happen as soon as you start trusting your gut going with your gut instincts I'm betting that you've been feeling there's something not right about this whole thing that you've been chasing after so go with your gut instincts and then the next card that we've got is the field of dreams and this is all about you sowing the seeds you again trusting trusting getting uncomfortable but trusting that it's going to happen what do you want what do what are your big dreams follow those okay and how would it feel to actually reach those goals to actually reach those dreams okay because as soon as you let go of this believe me things are going to start happening here and the thing is, when you look at your your whole life, if there's one thing that you're chasing, chasing after, you're not happy in that particular area of your life, it's going to have an impact on all the other areas. So by just focusing on that one thing, that one thing that you keep self-sabotaging yourself with, then it's going to open up doors in all areas of your life and create something amazing. So I've written down here... Um, yeah, you reap what you sow, basically. So make sure that what you're thinking and what you're dreaming are, are amazing, okay? Because your thoughts create your reality. And you need to start enjoying your life and start thinking about what you do really, really want. What is good for you? What feels good? And always go with what feels good because if it doesn't feel good, then it's not gonna, it's not gonna be right when it does manifest, when it does start being created in your life, all right? So guys, let go of that stuff 
that you keep chasing after that does that keeps sort of like coming up time and time again those lessons that you are not learning think about what you do really want instead okay there you go guys so that's exciting. If that has resonated with you, then please comment down below, share it with your friends if you, and tag somebody if you feel that it's um, really gonna help them out this week because it is about letting go and it's about letting in the new as well. Big changes are happening at the moment, lots of energy around us at the moment, which is creating these massive shifts in us in order for us to let go of the stuff that doesn't work for us and start moving forward. So, guys, I hope you have a fab week. I will be back again next Monday with more cars of the week. Um, as I say, comment down below. Let me know how you guys are getting on and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.